How much is too much? Every industry has its own extreme cases, pushing the limits and boundaries of what society deems acceptable. But in this video, we're going to talk about 10 people who some might say took their tattoos and body modifications too far. Number 10 is Rico Sosa, a 41 year old tattoo artist that has 80% of his body covered in tattoos and is turning himself into a real life orc. Rico got his first tattoo at the age of 15 and he got his first body modification when he was 35 years old. Currently, he's in the process of having his entire body blacked out in ink while also getting many body modifications to resemble an orc as much as possible. So far, he's got a split tongue, modified nose, subdermal implants, eyeball tattoos, and the most recent modification are his $500 tusk implants that fit over his bottom teeth. Rico's partner also has a few body modifications herself and the two just keep motivating each other to do more. He says he loves the way he looks and if he could do it all over again in another lifetime, he would. Number 9 is Philip Royer, a tattoo and makeup artist from Montreal. Growing up, he was fascinated and obsessed with the gothic look and vampires because they're immortal and they can stay young forever. So he decided to transform his body to look more like a vampire. Right now, he has 70% of his body covered in tattoos. He's also got a few other modifications like the stretching of his ear, enlargement of his fangs, and the reconstruction of his jaw. His future plans are to cover his entire body in tattoos from head to toe and add many more body modifications like a tongue split and extreme plastic surgery with face fillers to give him a more vampire-like look. Philip was a victim of severe bullying growing up and never felt comfortable in his own skin, but the day he got his first face tattoo, everything changed and he felt good and found himself to be more handsome. Number 8 is Fletcher, a 35 year old tattoo artist from Argentina who decided to modify his body to look more like a demon. He got his first tattoo at the age of 15 and has been getting more ever since. His first modification was his tongue split and later ended up tattooing his eyeballs black. Other modifications include pointed ears, the removal of his nipples and belly button, and blacking out his tongue. For him, once he started tattooing his face, there was no going back. He says he deals with criticism all day every day in public, however, he doesn't mind it. His final goal is to be 100% fully covered in tattoos and get more modifications such as horn implants to have a vampire gothic demon like look. Number 7 is Keith Edwards, a father of 3 and a baker who spent over $10,000 to cover 98% of his body in tattoos. He grew up in a religious household and got his first tattoo at the age of 17 against the approval of his mother and has been getting more and more ever since. He's also got his eyeballs tattooed black and said it wasn't painful at all but the most uncomfortable part was keeping his eyelids open for the procedure. Keith says he lives with no regrets and that looking normal is like a disease and now he's cured of it. Number 6 is Michelle Di Donato, a mother of 3 and a tattoo artist from Florida who's got 90% of her body covered in tattoos. She got her first tattoo at the age of 21 despite her first husband's unsupported belief towards that look. However, they later split and she married her second husband who helped cover all her bad tattoos and rework and give her new ones. Her body modifications include the stretching of her earlobes and she also has her eyeballs tattooed pink. Though getting the eyeballs tattooed is a risky process, she says she wasn't worried about damaging it. Number 5 is Keith Gordon. Earlier in his teens, he got a bunch of tattoos, which in a short amount of time, he regretted and removed, spending over $25,000 for the procedure in order to get an office job. Later on in life, he realized he should have stuck with his beliefs and kept his tattoos. So he did just that. In a span of 5 years, he went in every month to get a new tattoo. He blames all of this on his obsessive compulsive disorder, saying OCD rules his life and that when he starts something, he gets carried away with it. His wife admits she never would have married him if she met him like this, saying she gets embarrassed that everyone constantly stares at them when they're in public. However, she puts all of that aside because Keith is a good husband and a good father. On the other hand, Keith loves the attention of being different and loves showing other people that it's okay to be different. Number 4, we have Pedro Kenzo, a tattoo artist from Brazil that has over 60% of his body covered in tattoos with a few extreme body modifications. His first body modification was silicone implants in his head. He also has a pair of screw-on devil horns that fit right into his skull. Aside from that, he has a split tongue and blacked out eyeballs and his next modification was said to be the most painful one he's done so far and that's cutting off parts of his ears. His thoughts are, once you start, you can't stop. 
Tejo's obsession began from street graffiti. From meeting one friend and then another, he was introduced to the art of tattooing. Though Pedro gets a lot of criticism and some people are scared of him, he says he doesn't care and that these days it doesn't even bother him at all. And despite all of the negative thoughts towards him, his wife says Pedro is a very affectionate person and a great husband and father to their daughter. He's going to continue living his life how he wants and his final goal is to be 90 to 95% covered in tattoos while getting even more body modifications. Number 3 is Buio, an Italian tattoo artist who's got 80% of his body covered in tattoos. His first one was at the age of 13 and from there his passion for it exploded. Not long after his mom bought him his own tattoo kit and having no clients to tattoo he started tattooing himself with his face being one of his preferred spots to tattoo. Growing up he's had a very rough past and a difficult family situation but tattoos brought happiness back into his life. Buyo says he likes body modifications and in the future he might split his tongue. But most of all, he'd love to tattoo his eyes. And as for body tattoos, he has no plans on stopping anytime soon and wants to continue getting more. Number 2 is Larry the Leopard. And as I'm sure you've already guessed by the name, he covered his entire body in leopard patterns. He claims his leopard tattoos give him leopard powers, such as being able to run faster, crawl around in the dark and hunt. He got his first tattoo at the age of 20 and he kept going from there getting his entire body covered while every couple months he'll top up the ink on his body. When he first covered his body in tattoos, Larry's family disowned him for 10 years before they would speak to him again. These days his mother tries to be understanding of his choices and does her best to work things out with him. Now the reason for his unique look was because Larry was tired of doing what society expected him to do. He just wanted to live his life his own way so he did just that. Number 1 is Chiara, a 19 year old from Rome who has over 40 body modifications including tattooed eyeballs, 6 subdermal implants, over 20 facial piercings and many other tattoos on her body. She got her first piercing at the age of 11 and from there started to stretch out her earlobes and many of the facial piercings she has she did herself over the span of 3 years. In case you're wondering about the one on her bottom lip, well she did that one herself as well making a small incision then over time stretching it out to where it is in this video. According to her she gets stared at all the time. People pointing and talking about her doesn't bother her but she does say it's a bit rough when they take pictures of her discreetly. She's not opposed to it but just be respectful and ask. Chiara says her body modifications are not for the need of attention or to be noticed rather a passion and a personal need wanting to do it for herself. Since this look she's transformed herself fully again but that's for another video. Now if you guys enjoyed this one you know what to do make sure to smash that like button and subscribe button for a lot more videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next one.